This is Si Jialing from China. I'm the manager of a starter sheep farm in China, which is located about 100, 160 kilometers southeast of Beijing. Good afternoon. I want to thank Karen and Manny for the invitation. It's an honor to share with the South African colleague at this virtual conference. My presentation today is intensive lamb production in China. Under this topic, I would like to cover the following subject. Overview of the Chinese sheep goat industry. Typical mega sheep farm design or layout in China. Maternal sheep breed selection, critical management consideration at the end I will make a summary. Let's first look at the Chinese sheep goat industry. Chinese word yang rou means meat from either sheep or goats. Unlike English, you have lamb, mutton, goat meat, or can be. Traditionally, more goats are raised in China than sheep until 2012, when sheep farming gained more popularity. There are 167 breeds, including 89 for sheep and 78 for goats. Out of the 89 sheep breeds, there are 44 local, 32 newly developed, 11 foreign primary terminal breeds, such as a Dopper, Suffolk, Texel, Dorset, Australian White, etc. For all the local breed, they all belong to three classes of sheep breeds, Tibetan, Mongolia, and Kazakh. This slide shows the three ancient Chinese sheep breeds, Mongolia, Kazakh, and Tibetan. Both Mongolia and Kazakh sheep are hairy type, while Tibetan is the long wool breed. They are all from three different regions. The Mongolian sheep breed was originally from Inner Mongolia with long, harsh, cold winter. Kazakh is from Xinjiang Uber regions with a dry and large daily temperature difference. Tibetan breed is from the Tibetan region with the high elevations. All Chinese local breeds are variant of each of the three breeds. The most popular breeds for sheep intensive farming in China today is a Hu sheep, which is shown here. Actually, the Hu sheep was traced back to Mongolia sheep breed. About 8,000 years ago, the Mongolia sheep was brought to southeastern region like Jiangsu and Zhejiang province. With years of the selections in confinement feeding, it has become the Hu sheep today. The meat sheep goat production efficiency in China has steadily improved over the years, which is demonstrated in this chart. The chart shows the annual year-end animal inventory in blue line and the total number of the animals gone to the market for meat in orange line. The number is in million head. In 1990, the China had about 190 millions of sheep and goats. The numbers of animals have steadily increased to about 300 million head today. Similarly, the annual number of the animals marketed for meat are also experienced with a steady increase from less than 50 million to more than 300 million head in 2019. Both numbers didn't cross each other until 2016. Shortly after that, 
China has seen more animal marketed for meat than the year-end inventory suggesting improved production efficiency. This chart shows sheep and goat meat supply and demand in China. The chart shows the demand and domestic production of sheep goat meat in China over the last 16 years. The number is in 10,000 tons. So orange line is the annual sheep goat meat consumption, while the blue line is the annual domestic production in China. The annual meat consumption steadily increased, which is a reflection of the rapid economic growth and the rise of the Chinese household income. Last year, the total consumption of the sheep goat meat reached 5.3 million tons a year, although the domestic production also showed a steady increase over the years, reaching 4.9 million tons last year it could not meet the market demand after 2007. The supply and the demand started to show deficit. This deficit has grown larger since then. It has reached between 30 to 40,000 tons per year. This gap is met by the imported sheep meat, mainly from New Zealand and Australia. Looking at the Chinese industry, the farm size was predominated by the smaller ranchers. 11 years ago, back in 2010, 77% of the sheep goat farmers owned fewer than 100 head per farm, but the percentage has steadily dropped. This number was down to 59% in 2019. While the farmers with 500, more than 500 head have steadily increased in percentage, accounting for 13 in 2014, rising to 16 in year 2019. Farmers owning more than 1,000 head of animal also increased by 3% of a point in six years. Farms with more than 3,000 head of animal doubled in four years from 2016 to 2019. The largest single sheep farm in China today has 150,000 animals. Where does the Chinese sheep goat industry go? In my view, sheep and goat meat consumption will continue to increase following the country's economic growth. The capacity of the sheep goats raised will unlikely exceed the current level, which is set at about 310 million head. But the sheep will continue to rise in numbers and will become the predominant source of the sheep goat meat. Grazing will continue to be tightly controlled. Sheep farming will, sh will be shifted to intensively managed confined production. Mag farm numbers will continue to rise. Therefore, I will focus on mag sheep farming productions in China for the remaining time of my presentation. The mag sheep farm design layout Let's first look at the farms of my own. These pictures show the bird view of my farm. It was converted to a stud sheep farm from a chicken operation. Thus, the design may not be the ideal one. Nevertheless, the farm is organized into five different zones with specific functions. The production zone including mating barn, Lambing barn, map A, B, and C. We have a zone for TMR preparations, a zone for manure storage and compost. We also have zones for labs and office living quarters. They are separated from the production zones. These pictures show a new 
um, mega farm called the Jiangsu Chambal Sheep Farm, which is located in the southeast of China. <clears throat> the farm was designed and built from a grain field about seven years ago. Most of the Chinese mega farms are like this ones. It's a confinement feeding facility with a capacity of 100,000 head. The production is divided into nine mops. The first eight mops are identical, each with 6,000 ewes in production. The mop nine is for ewe replacement. This is a TMR shop. There is a zones for fertilizer plant with the sheep downs as a raw material. There is a zones for living quarters and offices away from the production area. Most newly built mega sheep farms share the similar layout. The modern mega sheep farms share the same characteristics. All farms are built into separate zones based on functions for biosafety and operation efficiencies. The production zone is divided into separate mobs with the exact same building structures. Each mob houses the same number of the use in production, manpower and operation procedures are standardized across the mobs. Automation is used whenever is feasible. Mop management. These pictures show the mop and a barn layout within. Each mop consists of 15 barns of wheat. Three single barns are joined together called triad barn. It sits in the middle of the mop. Each barn is measured at 110 meters long and 10 meters wide. Each mop houses 6,000 ewes in production with a total capacity of the 12,000 animals at any given time. The bottom pictures show the single barn's layout. The doors is for the, the feeding alley. There are a number of the barn designs based on the climate conditions. In the cold region, people are using the fully enclosed barn design with the sky windows on the top for circulation, which is showing on the top left corner. In the middle, under the temperature climate, fully open barns is used. In the moderate climate regions, on the right, left, semi-open barn designs is adopted in which one side is totally enclosed. The opposite side is open, but with a roller shape. Within the barns, shown on the bottom, the front fence should be properly designed to allow both lamb and ewes to feed without having the lamb jump out of the pens. These pictures show the properly designed front fence, while the, this one is not. In this set, uh, set up on the right uh, <clears throat> bottom corner, the lambs runs out of the pens to the feed alley contaminating the feed. These pictures show the lamb pen in the nursing barn. The partitions on left and the right side have doors to allow the lambs in both adjacent pens to come in for solid feed supplementation. The pictures also show the slated floor made of the bamboo shoes or plastic. Whenever feasible, automation is applied. This bottom picture shows a TMR delivery with a dedicated feed truck. The truck ran in the feed alley in a barn delivering the TMR evenly to both sides of the bunk. The middle picture shows the auto manure removal. 
The top pictures show the misty disinfections within the barn and at the farm's main entrance door for biosafety. When the farm is properly designed and built, next is to determine which breed for you is selected for production. The criteria include prolific, a minimum of 200% lambing rate. You possess the excellent modern ability to increase the lamb survival rate, able to adapt to confinement feeding. It has a medium mature body size to, minimum, uh, to minimize feed cost. You must be year round cycling and lambing. Lamb has fast growth and carcass quality. After all, meat, meat yield is what we go after. Preferred maternal breed by the mag sheep farm owners, including sheep, uh, who sheep, and composite use. Who sheep is the most popular breed for intensive lamb production in China today because the breed is a prolific, averaging 260% lambing rate, has a medium body size, has excellent modern ability, adapting to full confinement feeding. People also using composite use from crosses of a who sheep and Doper or Australian white sheep. This comes to you average at least 200 lambing rate, yield greater litter size for higher lamb survival rate, and has a faster growth rate and a carcass yield. The pictures on the left are the who sheep use with excellent family body sheep. The who sheep is excellent maternal breed. The only drawback of, of this breed is the slower growth and a poor cox yield. The pictures on the right show the composite use from who sheep and a doper cross. This composite use overcome who sheep's poor cox quality yet still with great lambing rate. Critical management consideration for the mag sheep farm operation. First, year round productions with a target for use, lambing three times every two years. Daily mating evenly spread within seven month period. Feed the animals based on the physiological stages to meet their nutrient requirement, yet at lower feed cost, provide proper lamb management to increase lamb survival at weaning. Mating management. All use waiting for joint are gathered in the tried barn. Artificial inseminations is used for mating. Prepare the use for mating include herd work, drafting based on the body condition scores, et cetera. They will be then sequentially, <clears throat> excuse me, placed in group of 20 or 22 in pens measured in six meter long and 3.3 meter wide per pen. Using the light, laser ram, a teaser ram or nutrition to promote use to cycle. Once the ewes are AI mated, they will be placed in other pens waiting for pregnant test. This diagram shows how the ewes are placed in the triad bone. Ewes waiting for joint are placed in pens on one side of the bone. Here is on the top, while the AI mated ewes are placed at the bottom of the bone. Once the use are confirmed pregnant, they will be moved out of the triad barn to early gestation group. Critical steps in mating management include 
accurate heat detection, we normally run through the herd with a teaser run twice a day. Proper AI, the use five days after AI will be retested with a teaser run to see if anyone is cycling again. It continues for 18 days. If joint to you are in heat, they will be taken out for joint again. 30 days after mating, use an ultrasound scan for pregnancy. Once confirmed pregnant, they will be moved out of the child bar to the early gestation group. Feeding management. All animals are offered TMRs, depending on the physiological stages. The use are offered different TMRs to meet their nutrient requirement at the lowest cost possible. We generally divided the use into breeding, early gestation, late gestation, early and late lactation, lamb supplementation, and weaned lambs or ewe lambs for replacement. We use the NRC nutrient requirement of the small animals as a reference for TM, uh, TMR balancing. This slide shows our TMR preparation shop. The left top pictures show the ingredient storage. Bottom is the silos. Right top picture is the TMR mixers and bottom is the TMR delivering truck. Sheep TMRs are made of locally sourced roughages and a concentrated mixtures in our operation. The roughages include the whole plant maize silage, alfalfa hay or silage, straws, grass hays, or whatever we can get cheap. Sheep can use any ravages as long as they are tested for nutrient composition. Therefore, knowing the nutrient composition of a ravage is critical. TMR balancing, we use the low cost ravage first and make up with the concentrate. Because used nutrients come only from the TMR, well balanced TMR to meet the animal's nutrient requirements is important to maximum production at least cost. How to manage the MOP operation? All MOP share the same TMR operators. Manure operators share shared maintenance and office personnel. Each MOP is manned with 12 dedicated personnel for 6,000 U operation. This include one MOP manager, two AI operators, five bar, um, bar caretakers, two bars per person, three lambing caretakers, and one with veterinarians or ins inspectors. Operation standard. All MOPs follow the same SOPs for production. These SOPs cover immunization and herd work, barn sanitation and disinfe disinfection, group feeding based on physiological stages of the U, mating including U preparation, heat detection, AI, ultrasound, scanning, RAM preparation, et cetera. AI and animal cares for run, you and the lambs, lambing and winning cares, record keeping, and so on. Information system has been developed to help make sheep farm owners better manage the farm operation. One of the system that has gained more attention in the industry is the software we developed 10 years ago. The system has been updated several times over time 
since its development. The system is based on RFID and the sheep's reproduction cycle. It records activities at each stage of the reproduction cycle. It monitors every use for production and the information is used to help make management decisions. The pictures on the left show the RFID tag and the scanners. Through the Bluetooth, the scanner is linked to the operator's smartphone, which has installed the software's app, shown in the middle picture. When the app is open, there are a number of functions one can choose. Unfortunately, they are in Chinese. The first one from the right top corner is notifications. When this is pressed, a serious item will appear. For example, which animals are close to land, days to win, how long have the use made it but without scanning, how many times has the youth been jointed in this reproduction cycle, etc. Next to the notification is the sheep information. When that is pressed, have the scanners close to the RFID, the animal's information will show, such as the pedigree, age, birth date, sex, birth weight, winning weight, location, etc. All operating operators are permitted to look up the information, but the right to enter the production information is strictly restricted to the operators who are performing the job. This is tightly controlled by the managers. In our operation, we eliminated the paper recording. Operators can enter the information as they perform the jobs. Thus, the information collected is more prompt and accurate. Performance performed is automatically tabulated or charted, which is shown on the right picture. Performance review. Mega farm, sheep farms are run just like a corporation. The farm's operating performance is directly linked to the individual marks. Thus, annual performance review is conducted for each mob within the farm. Same KPIs are used across mobs. They are never the use joint and percent the use that are pregnant, or confirmed pregnant this year. Number of lambs born, lambing rate, number and percent of the wind lambs, number of lambs sold after winning, types and months of TMR consumed, medication and supply cost, labor cost. An incentive plan is built on KPI performance. The information system keeps the KPIs updated and accurate. Farm owners or senior managers will use the information to make operation decisions. In summary, an industry trained to shift to intensive land production in China to meet the increasing meat, design, meat, meat demand by the Chinese consumers. More and more mega sheep farms have been built with a minimum of 10,000 use in production. Innovations on farm operation from facility design to operation efficiency, including breed selection, feed and nutrition, production technology, et cetera, are made in order to make it more efficient. Future work will focus on how to make the meat productions in confinement system as cost effective as grazing. With that, I thank you for your attention. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions. My contact information is shown here.